is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Zach and today I'm going to teach you how to scan a QR code from your iPhone and also from your Android phone no matter where it is. Let me explain. So I'm going to teach you how to read the QR code if it's outside your phone. So for example, if it's here uh, on a table or maybe on a magazine printed somewhere no matter what. So I'm going to teach you how to read that QR code from your iPhone or your Android phone, but also if the QR code is already on your phone, how to read it. Because sometimes you have a QR code on a web page, on a video, no matter what. So if it's on your screen, how can you read it? Well, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to do that on both iPhone and Android phone. Let's get started. Okay, so starting with the iPhone, the good thing is you don't need to download anything, but you gotta make sure something is turned on here on your settings. So go ahead here, jump to your settings, then scroll down, keep scrolling until you see camera, as you can see right there, and then make sure that scan QR codes is turned on. This is so common, many people have this turned off for some reason, and then they can't read QR codes. So leave this on, and then all you have to do is open up your camera, go ahead and point at the QR code, and then you see it right here highlighted in yellow. So tap on it, and then it's gonna open up right there. Wikipedia, for example, this QR code is from Wikipedia, all right? So easy peasy. Now, what about if the QR code is here? It's on the phone. So guys, it's super, super easy. So make sure to go ahead and take a screenshot of that QR code. So let's say you're browsing the web and I'm just gonna go ahead here and type in QR code, okay? Just to make it super easy. And then go to images and as you can see, there are a ton of QR codes right there, right? All you have to do is take a screenshot of the QR code that you wanna scan, that you wanna read. No matter if it's on a web page, in a video, no matter where it is, all you have to do is go ahead here and take a screenshot. As easy as that, okay? Then all you have to do is jump over to your photos, right? It's gonna be right there. That's the one, the screenshot we just took. And then all you have to do is tap and hold on that QR code. So let's say I wanna read this one, I wanna scan this one. So I tap and hold on it. It's gonna automatically recognize as a QR code. And then I tap here and open in Safari. And as you can see, again, it's the same page from Wikipedia. So that's literally it. From the camera, point, and then tap here on the highlight in yellow. And from your iPhone itself, all you have to do is take a screenshot and tap and hold on that QR code, opening Safari, and that's it. As easy as that. Now, let's take a look on the Android. Okay, so the process on the Android is quite similar actually, but because of the variety of Android models, brands, and versions, we have a few possibilities, okay? So the first thing you gotta do is make sure you have the feature built in, just like on the iPhone, most new Androids do, okay? So pull down here, as you saw, and then go to your settings, as you can see, and then tap on search, and then on the search, search for QR. As you can see, scan QR codes. Most Android phones have this feature already, so tap on it, and then you see right here. And so this will make our lives so much easier, because with this you can do the exact same process as on the iPhone so open up your camera and then look for that QR code it's gonna show up right there you can tap on it and then it's gonna open up just as you're seeing right here that very same Wikipedia page so perfect working now if you don't have this feature if you don't see it in your settings you're gonna need to download an app and I do recommend that you download this app regardless, because if you're reading a QR code that's already on your phone, you're gonna need to download it as well. So regardless of the Android phone you have, I recommend that you go ahead and open the Play Store, and then right there at the top, tap on search, and then look for Google Lens, as you can see right here. It's a Google app, it's free, and it's compatible with most Android phones running today, right? So go ahead and install it, as easy as that. It's super fast, it's gonna be downloaded and installed in just a few seconds, as you can see. We're done, we're good, so open it up, and all you have to do is search with your camera. So tap here, 
and then the camera app will open up. As you can see, it recognizes the QR code, you can tap on it and go ahead and open the very same page. So then again, regardless of your Android phone, you can use Google Lens to read from your camera, right? Read something that's outside your phone. But if you wanna read something that's inside, you'll do the exact same thing. You're gonna go ahead, take a screenshot of that video or web page, take a screenshot of the QR code itself, and then instead of going to the camera, you're gonna go to Google Lens, right? So swipe up, look for the app Google Lens, and then right here, you'll see screenshots. I took that very same screenshot that we had a look a few seconds ago, so you can tap on it, and it's automatically gonna recognize all the QR codes. So I can tap on it, and then it's gonna open up our old friend from Wikipedia right here once again. So then, that's how you read any QR code anywhere on your iPhone and in your Android phone for free, super easy. So, thanks for watching this video, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one as usual guys, bye bye.